Okay. Here I'm gonna show you how to estimate land surface temperature LSD for Landsat 8. This is a kind of split window algorithm for land surface temperature estimations. Uh, but I'm going to do this in Google Earth Engine. To do this, uh, I open the let's say Google Earth Engine environment. I have already prepared all the codes, and I'm gonna give you a quick explanation what I did before. For the first time, you have to import your study area. Mine here is uh, Bologna, in northern part of Italy. You, you can highlight it to be in center of your app, in center of your screen. Then I added Landsat collections. After that, I filtered the study area that it should be Bologna. Filter date that you can choose any date that you are interested and you are targeted. Here I'm gonna estimate land surface temperature for one month and also filter metadata in order to remove the cloud cover because we are using optical data set and it's usual for them. And here I added the median, median F the spectral reflectance of the image collection and finally I clipped the, our collections based on our study area then the next point I printed the, our collections in the next step you have to estimate uh, NDVI estimations uh, in order to estimate NDVI index I use normalized different vegetation index. Uh, this is Landsat 8 and I did it for band uh, 5 and band 4. I renamed it as NDVI. In order to estimate a land surface temperature you need a minimum and maximum of the NDVI. To this purpose I uh, define minimum of the NDVI and estimated it with a scale of 30 meter that is the scale of Landsat 8 image and also I try to print it on the screen at the same time also I did the estimation for maximum NDVI using these codes the same thing for the minimum NDVI that I did before. In the next step, where I need a fractional vegetation in order to reach our equation for land surface temperature estimations. To this purpose, I used NDVI subtracted to the minimum NDVI divided into maximum NDVI, then subtracted minimum one again. I rename it as the fractional vegetation. In the next step, emissivity is one of the land surface estimations parts. It's necessary to be calculated here. In order to do this, I used A and B. It's cut from header file. And I header file of the dataset. And here I defined it. Then I used fractional vegetation, multiply A, uh, the minimum DN and maximum DN of the image. In the final step, I used the equation for land surface temperature in Celsius degree. To do this, I choose the thermal band, band 10 of Landsat 8 image, multiplied 1.0. Uh, this is the unique unit of the image that you can find it in the collection data collection. For land surface temperature, I defined an expression 
then I used all the required parts of the split window algorithm equations here most of these uh, values are constant and you have to find them in the header file of the datasets like this one and also all the equation minus 273.15 that is related to optimize or let's say convert our result from Kelvin to Celsius degree here also you can find that I define it all the abbreviation here for example TB means thermal or EP means emissivity that I selected for in the next step also I give them some colors in order to show us the highest in a land surface temperature and so minimum land surface temperature in the final step I exported the result into drive with the name of LSD for 2021 with the scale of 30 and the region is Bologna then here I'm gonna run the code in order to see if it's right and see the result okay here is the study area I'm gonna turn off this and show the LSD I'm gonna visualize it in a better way as you can see we have the area with more color I mean the highest red means the highest uh, land surface some pressure over the study area and so you can uh, we can use gamma with different stretch that is brighter one means the highest land surface temperature 